Yo, what it do with y'all boys YouTube? It's your boy Stash Reacts, and I'm back with yet another banger video. It's been about a week since I've actually been in front of a camera, so it actually does feel really good to be back. If y'all check my community tab, I was recently going on vacation and I didn't enjoy myself, but that's besides the point. Today we got that Tupac Troublesome 96. Went back to my last Tupac reaction. I was looking for another song to react to by him, so it's gonna be my first time hearing it. If y'all are new to the channel, like, comment, subscribe, leave some more recommendations down below in the comment section. Let's go ahead and dive straight into the video. Yo, baby. All right, man, let's get it. Troublesome 96, let's do it. Troublesome nigga. <laughs> Troublesome 19, motherfucking 96. Westside. Let it be known, nigga. Boss of all bosses. Machiavelli. <laughs> Menace and methods label me a lethal weapon, making niggas die witness and breathless imperfections. Get Woo! a picture my specific plan. To be the man in this wicked land, underhanded, it's a plan. Uh, scams are plotted over grams of rock. me a dog and named her my bitch mm, that's a bar that's a bar tupac all right he talking Fuck friends and folks me a born leader never lead a block without my heater got me a dog and named her my bitch nigga heater huh what could they do to me a little brat shit them niggas that shot me and still terrified <laughs> I get they ass. how can i show you how i feel inside we outlaws motherfuckers can't kill my pride they uh. talk a lot of shit but that's after them gone because they fear me in the physical form let them be known no troubles Man, this beat is nasty, bro. Y'all know what time it is. Call the phone police. They can't stop us. Gangsta. We troublesome. Gonna waste my mentality is ghetto. A gorilla in this criminal war. We all rebels. Death before the sun. I bet I bomb on them first. Niggas knew we came from murder. Pulling up in a hearse. West side was the war cry. Busting off freely. Screaming fuck. All y'all niggas in Swahili. Pistol pack and fresh out of jail. I ain't going I'm a heartless strap. He said he pistol packing fresh out of jail. He don't care. Because you know if you a convicted felon and you get caught with a gun, how many years that is, you violate your, you know, your probation or whatever. Fresh out of jail, bro. Like he ain't even went home. See his mama nut like that. He went to go grab him a gun because he know he living that thug life. Like he got a tattoo on his stomach right there, bro. Woo! He pistol packing fresh out of jail. I ain't going uh. back. Release me to the care. I'm a heartless strap. Say my name three times like candy, man. Uh. Hold on your ass like an avalanche. Learn to get high and pull dry bars. Murder my folks, can't control my nine. Hearing thoughts of my enemies, bleeding, please. Bust the ass, motherfucker, tried to flee. Picture me letting this jump survive. Ran up on his ass when I dumped him die. Cause I'm trumps. Young, strapped, and I don't give a fuck. I'm hopeless. I let a dog life losing my focus, baby. I'm trumps. <laughs> Bad boy killer. There is no one riller. What you saw was the rough, rugged, and raw. How long? Murder, murder, my mind state. Shit ain't changed since my last rhyme. The crime rate ain't declined. Niggas pussing shots like they lost their mind. Like 25 to life never cost their mind. Come on. Every young nigga never learned a thing. Dead at 13 because he yearned the vein. Sent a lot of flowers, but how could I cry? Tried to warn a little nigga either stop or die. Mercy is for the weak when I speak, I scream. Afraid to sleep, I'm having crazy dreams. Vivid pictures of my enemies. That's real. First of all, you don't give us the perspective of a 13-year-old child who lost their life because they out here living that life. He was trying to tell them, like, to slow down or you're going to end up dying or going to jail, which is only going to be two outcomes of that, you know? But now he's saying that because of his environment and where he was raised that is the reason why he's living the way that he has. And now when he gets to heaven, he wants God to forgive him for that, which if it wasn't for his environment, he would have, you know, made better choices maybe, or maybe had some different influences around him or something like that. Man, come on, he he's talking here. This is story time, real hip hop rap. I'm feeling every bit of it in this one. This one was like a, a mixture of everything. Give me cause it's wrong, but I plan to die. He did take me in heaven and understand I wasn't cheap. Did the best I could, raised in the sanity. Uh. In your wildest dreams, you couldn't picture a nigga like me. <laughs> I'm troublesome. I don't give a fuck. I'm troublesome. Like my nigga Napoleon said, nigga. Somebody gotta explain why I ain't got shit. <laughs> I'm 
<laughs> you know what time it is, the outlaw click. Young, rugged, and sick. Machiavelli, the dawn, the boss, all boss. Mussolini, Idi Amin, Hussein Fatal, Gaddafi, Castro, Napoleon, Pope Nitti. <laughs> there was a banger y'all specifically this one right here was a banger and even if i didn't hear the lyrics and i just heard the instrumental something about that instrumental is nasty who produced that beat please let me know but shout out to real hip-hop lyrics they're the ones who uploaded this video i'm gonna leave a link to their video down below troublesome 96 i ain't really got too much to say this was a banger 1996 was a little bit before my time i came along in 2000 that's when i was thought of you know what i'm saying or in the works Somewhere in 1999, somewhere in that range, late 1999. <laughs> Shout out to Mama, she be watching my videos. But man, this one, this one right here, you can just feel it in the soul. It came from his heart, bro. He was a real gangster. He stood on everything he said, and he was one of those ones who wasn't a pushover. He was gonna get his point across regardless of you know how anybody felt. And he died going out that way, like he said. Even when he made it to heaven gates and he was talking to God, he said, or send me to hell because I won't beg for my life. That's one of the most, I don't know, stand up things that I've heard. One of the most gangster things I've ever heard in my life. Because if you, <laughs> let's just not discuss it too much. But let's just say Tupac was one of the people who did not care. He didn't care who you were, how old you were, how big you were. No matter what, bro, he was going to stand up against you. RIP to Tupac, the legend, man. Your boy Stacks Reacts is out of here. Also, let me know if y'all enjoyed the reaction. Peace.